On the next Canine Corner, want to treat your dog to a spa day? We'll tell you about a new groomer in Torrance. Plus, we'll meet pet photographer Andy Shang from Otis and Lucy Pet Photography, and we'll tell you how you can give this guy a forever home. All this coming up on the next Canine Corner. I'm Rhiannon Tertanich, your host for Canine Corner, the show that your dog will give two paws up. Today on Canine Corner is all about pampering your pup. So we'll stop by Soggy Paws Pet Grooming here in Torrance and South Bay Pet Photographer Andy Chang from Otis and Lucy Pet Photography will be here. But first, let's meet the adorable pups from Marley's Pit Stop Rescue who are looking for their forever homes. I founded Marley's Pit Stop Rescue in 2004, officially. Um, right after I adopted my little pit bull named Marley out of a high kill shelter. And the reason I decided to go ahead and start this rescue is when I first got Marley, I didn't even know he was a pit bull. And when I found out, I had that intrinsic reaction that a lot of people do to pit bulls, and I thought they were scary. And once I did a little bit of reading and I found out they're a top five family dog, I said, you know what, I gotta do something for this breed. So I started Marley's Pit Stop. Um, we do love our pit bulls, but we also include other breeds as well. We don't want to discriminate against anybody who needs a home. So we're an all foster network, which means none of our dogs live in boarding or kennels. I would like to introduce you to Holly. She's a very friendly four and a half year old American Staffordshire Terrier. She's uh, got a beautiful champagne blue coat, very athletic, um, loves people, um, is very playful and affectionate with other dogs. Holly was found by one of our volunteers uh, Christmas Eve of 2014, which is why her name is Holly. And she has been a blessing to the organization. She's the kind of dog that'll put a smile on your face every time you, you know, every moment you spend with her. And um, so we're really looking forward to finding her forever home. This is Zinazu, um, Zinny for short. Uh, he's a three year old Pomeranian mix, um, full of energy, got a big personality in the little body. He's got a Silly little face, looks like a little teddy bear. Probably could stand to lose a little weight. She probably would do best in a home with adults and um, older kids. But uh, other than that, he's great. And this here is Clive, AKA Wiggle Worm. So he's 13 months old and we found him in South Los Angeles. And he was like a street dog, so he was just kind of running around making by. So we followed him for about four months before he trusted us enough to let us take him. And then, you know, we took him with us. And he was really reserved at first. Like he was kind of like a street dog is, suspicious of people and always looking to come up. And then after a while, you know, he became, he, he got out of his shell, you know, he became more loving and more affectionate and just more sweet. Cause dogs know when you rescue them, like they know, they know what life is and they know how some lives are more pleasant than others. So now he's just a happy little love bug and he's looking for a home. This here is Gizmo. He's a great dog. He's an eight-year-old rat terrier, adorable. He has kind of a sad background. He was first bought from a puppy mill by a family who actually couldn't spend a lot of time with him. So he was actually locked in a closet for 17 hours a day for the first two years of his life. So it's very, very sad, but he's doing much better now. He's gained a lot of confidence and he loves to cuddle. He is very energetic and loves to go for walks. He's a great walker. He gets along with everyone and most dogs. He get, he's ha happily in a home with my two dogs. And he just needs some a family who will love him and cuddle him, just be the family he deserves. One of my favorite dogs at Marley's Rescue is Whiskey. Whiskey is this adorable four-year-old um, miniature pincher, German pincher mix and she is this adorable, um, delicate, girly dog and loves to go play and go on walks and loves to cuddle on your lap. And um, she's just a really good, um, good, great with other dogs and great with kids. She's house trained really well and has a huge human fan club. This is Dagwood. He's a four-year-old corgi, corgi dachshund mix and he is just a ball of love. He's so adorable. He was found wandering the streets of South Los Angeles with two other female dogs, and he decided to just take the lead and protect them from you know, the dangerous world. 
and he will he will protect you too if he's your dog. He is he just wants to keep everybody around him safe, and he's just a ball of energy. He's very adorable, and he loves kids, cats, other dogs, everybody. This is Lulu, and she is a nine-month-old Chihuahua, and she was found in the trash when she was just six weeks old. And as you can see, she's very playful and just full of love and she's so soft. And she's actually best friends with Dagwood over here, and they just love each other so much. And she's just looking for an amazing home where someone can love her. This one that I have right now is about 18 weeks old. Her name is Whisper. So she loves to be with people. She loves to be in your arms, snuggling with you in bed. And she loves to go to the dog park now, finally, with small dogs. She's a lot of fun. She knows how to sit and stay. She's just a really special little dog. And I hope that she finds a forever home that is a family that has time for her and can work with her and train her and teach her manners. And um, because, she, like I said, she likes to sleep in bed with you and she loves to cuddle and she loves to sit on the couch and watch TV and she's just a bundle of joy. This is Spencer. He's a 10-year-old King Charles Spaniel. He was originally purchased from a breeder and the family who had him, when their kids got a little older, they weren't interested in playing with him as much, so they kept him in a room for most of the day. So when we got him now, he was a little sad, he was a little neglected, he was a little overweight, so we got him, we took him to the vet. He's all healthy and happy. He lost a little weight. He lives in a nice foster home now with other Cocker Spaniels um, and a cat. And he's looking for a home with other dogs and kids and cats and anyone like that he'd be happy with. And he loves to snuggle. This is Lucy. She's a two-year-old miniature pincher beagle mix. She's very friendly and very playful. She loves other dogs. She loves kids. She's looking for a home with other dogs because she's very active and wants to play a lot. We originally got her from someone who picked her up from a pet store. She was concerned about the conditions that Lucy was living in at the pet store, but knew that she couldn't keep her. So she picked her up, brought her to Marley's Pit Stop Rescue, and we're looking to find her a new home. Marley's Pit Stop Rescue holds adoption events at the PetSmart in El Segundo on Saturdays. If you're interested in adopting any of these dogs, please contact Marley's Pit Stop Rescue at pitstoprescue.com or give them a call at 310-995-1221. Those dogs are so adorable, how could you not want to bring one home? Now let's meet Andy Chang from Otis and Lucy and learn all about pet photography. Andy Chang started Otis and Lucy Pet Photography in 2008. His pet photography company grew from a love of photographing his own dog. And it started because I got a puppy named Louie, a yellow Labrador, and I took a ton of photos of him. And I put those photos on a couple of different websites, uh, dailypuppy.com, and also at the time there was a service called iGoogle. Uh, where you can make custom themes for other users. So I made a theme with Louie's puppy photos and the next thing I knew there were almost a million users worldwide. From that, Andy knew others enjoyed his pet photography as much as he did. When I showed people photos of um, Louie as a puppy, most people, um, in addition to saying what a cute puppy, everybody commented on how great the photography was. So I just thought, if everybody else wants the type of photography that I was taking, I might as well make that into a business. And from there, Andy began Otis and Lucy. We offer photography portraits in the studio and on location uh, for all kinds of animals, any subject that's non-human. That includes dogs, cats, and we have photographed iguanas, hedgehogs, birds, you name it, we've done it. Even though Andy has photographed many different animals, he says he mainly photographs dogs. Most of our clients are canines, and I'm very comfortable around dogs, and I love, I love all kinds of animals, but I'm especially comfortable with dogs. I had the opportunity to see Andy in action during our shoot when he photographed my dog Popeye. From the way he worked with him to the photos themselves, Andy's love for animals shines through from behind the camera. The Otis and Lucy studio is located in El Segundo. 
and we do mostly studio photos. So we prefer that you bring, the, bring your pets into our studio where the lighting is controlled, the environment is controlled. In fact, our studio is made just for animal photography. The lights are on the ceiling rail, so there are no wires to trip over. It's essentially indoor dog parks. Dogs love the environment. Most of them don't want to go home after the shoot. In addition to pet photography, Andy has expanded his company to become Otis and Lucy Inc. From the very beginning, when I first started uh, the Otis and Lucy Photography Studio, I had always wanted to eventually expand that brand into uh, other aspects of animal products. Andy is planning to release dog toys from Otis and Lucy Inc. by the end of this year. We're basically trying to make a better Kong, a better, better looking Kong, a better smelling Kong. Um, so the first, first toy out will be shaped like a pig and smell like a bacon, smell like bacon. So it will be, it will be fantastic. We, we, we know the dogs will absolutely love those toys. Whether photographing animals in the studio or designing new dog toys, Andy's love for animals is undeniable. Oh, that's amazing being able to combine, you know, work and a business with um, a passion and a love for animals. Yeah, absolutely. It's the it's the best job ever. If you're interested in contacting Otis and Lucy, please visit otisandlucy.com. Andy's photos are amazing. Now the Top Pup LA contest kicks off later this month and one of their organizers is here to tell us all about the contest and how you and your pup can participate. It's the Top Pup LA contest looking for the cutest, most adorable, fun uh, puppies in the Los Angeles area. Um, open to puppies 8 weeks to 20 weeks old. And uh, if people are interested, what they would do is send us their video or photo of their pup and we take a look at all of them, we handpick our favorites to go to the semifinals. And this is where it becomes really fun, this is my favorite part. Uh, what we do is we bring all of the semifinalists into the Otis and Lucy um, photography studio and everyone who wants to participate gets this professional video shot of their puppy. From there, we take the videos of all the pups, we put them on our Top Pup LA Facebook page. Um, and then we have an open voting for the public where they can come to our Facebook page. Then at the end of a period, uh, we take the puppies with the most votes and they go to our finals round. Um, so there's going to be eight finalists. They get judged by a panel of judges from the pet industry who determine who the Top Pup LA is. So beside boasting rights, of course, that your pup is a Top Pup LA, um, you also get uh, this really great um, photography session with a professional pet photographer um, at Otis and Lucy. It's a $500 value. So everybody who is interested in uh, participating in the contest, they can send us a video or a photo of their puppy. Um, they can email it to uh, casting at toppup.tv and um, we'll take it from there. And we wish all the puppies the best of luck. What a great contest. I'm excited to see who will win Top Pup LA. Now we're gonna take a short break, but don't go anywhere. When we come back, we'll be meeting a new pet groomer based right here in Torrance. See that cute little dog in the pet store window? Chances are it came from a puppy mill, a breeding facility that forces caged, neglected, and often sick dogs to churn out puppy after puppy to be sold for profit. Meanwhile, millions of wonderful, healthy pets end up in animal shelters. This leads to the killing of more than 9,000 by the end of today. But with one simple choice, you can help just by deciding to adopt instead of purchase your next pet. Animal shelters are full of amazing pets looking for a home. When you adopt your new best friend, not only are you saving a life, you're taking a stand against puppy mills. Now imagine sharing the joy of adopting with your friends. Seeing the smart choice and impact you've made, they adopt their next pets and share with five of their friends who share with five more. 
Before long, thousands get involved. Pet stores stop selling dogs from puppy mills, and even more lives are saved. And with your help, we can save them all. Visit bestfriends.org to learn more. Welcome back to Canine Corner. I'm your host, Rhiannon Trutanich. Now, who doesn't love getting pampered? Our dogs are no exception. Let's meet Jessica Cabello, owner of Soggy Paws Pet Grooming, right here in Torrance. I started grooming about six, seven years ago in a big box store, and I started taking classes, and I decided, you know, there's a lot more than just basic, you know, pet grooming, and I wanted to go out and do more. After training under her friend, who does a lot of creative grooming, Jessica decided to open her own shop. We opened in November, and it's been going really well. I've gotten a lot of clients from the neighborhood, and they've been so happy with it. They love how it looks. They love the pink and the poodles. <laughs> Even the men are okay with it. And it's just taken off, and it's been, it's been fun. It's been fun to have my own thing and have my own clients, and they're always happy, and they love how their pets look. Soggy Paws is a full-service pet groomer. We do the basic grooming, washes, nail trimming, ear cleaning, as well as we do dogs, we do cats, we do dogs of all sizes, from little little chihuahuas to the biggest we've done so far is like a Great Pyrenees, we've also done a Great Dane. Um, so we do have the equipment to do big dogs. A trip to Soggy Paws is more than a bath, it's a spa day for your dog. All of our regular baths, they're not just like a wash, they include you know the blueberry facial, which is like a little spa treatment, and for our short-coated dogs or our double-coated dogs like Huskies, Samoids, um, German Shepherds, they get de-shed with their bath because they're all shedding, usually all times of year, especially now. So we try to de-shed them with it that way, you know, less mess in everyone's house. And how often should you get your dog bathed? I usually recommend at least every four to six weeks. Um, because it is good for them and it gives us a chance to see if they have any skin problems or any, you know, anything that might need attention at a veterinarian. In addition to basic grooming, Soggy Paws offers a variety of stylings. Anything from basic, basic shave downs to full style clipping, kind of one of our specialties I haven't, doing little bits of it is creative grooming with coloring. So we have pet safe dye from any color in the rainbow. We do tails, ears, feet, leopard print, zebra print, pandas. And I had a chance to meet Cujo the panda dog who was getting styled when I was at Soggy Paws. Crazy so far has been the panda, which we have here. We have the panda dog. And he's gotten a lot of head turns in their neighborhood. <laughs> Jessica is not only a talented groomer, but she makes the dogs feel comfortable and safe. A lot of them, they're nervous at first. Every dog's always a little, you know, they do the shakes and they get nervous. But it's, you know, I always tell them, it's, you know, it's the separation from you. And you know, I tell them it's gonna be okay. I try to get a lot of them to walk in on their own. So then, you know, they realize it's okay. And a lot of them actually, by the time they leave, they, they try to walk back in. From the work she does to her shop itself, it shows that Jessica is very passionate about pet grooming. It's definitely become a passion. You have to be passionate about it. You have to like it. And it's, it's nice to see how happy the people are, how happy the dogs are, because they always feel good when they're clean. They're always happy. Whether they like the bath or not, they're always happy when they leave. Soggy Paws is open Tuesday through Saturday from 8.30 a.m. to 6 p.m. They're located at 23649 Arlington Avenue in Torrance. You can give them a call at 310-325-0797, or you can visit SoggyPawsGrooming.com. Andy Chang, owner of Otis and Lucy Pet Photography, is back to give us some tips about how to photograph your dog at home. The most important thing to remember is you really don't want your dog to be posing for you like a high school yearbook portrait. Uh, those photos tend to be really boring. So when you're shooting at home, you're able to be patient and you can observe your dog and, and see when, uh, when they take a nap, when they're doing m interesting things. Just have, have your camera ready. If you do want to direct their attention, uh, the biggest mistake that most people make is that they um, make really loud sounds and they, may, they make it constantly. Basically, basically they will, they will uh, shout their dog's name over and over and over and over again in order to get their attention. What happens that, um, then is that the dog will basically start to ignore you after the first couple of times, especially if you shout really loud, it's going to actually really annoy them. 
So what the dogs will actually respond to is the difference, the contrast in the sound. So if you, if you tr get their attention first, then once they pay attention to you, stay really calm and quiet and wait until you're ready to click that shutter and any little sound will get direct their attention towards you. Um, so treats work really well, uh, sweet toys really well, uh, work really well. Uh, if you don't have anything, a snap of the finger work really well. But again, it's important to get that period of calm before you make that sound. No, they will not hurt your dog, um, but a lot of cameras do have uh, what's called a red eye reduction. So the flash will actually go off before you actually take the picture, and that's very distracting to the dog. Um, so if you can, turn the red eye reduction off. Patience, a lot of patience. Again, do not uh, view it as asking your dog to perform. You're basically trying to capture the essence of their personality. So make them comfortable, establish a good relationship with your dog. If you have a question, contact us and we'll be sure to get you the right answer. Call us at 310-618-5762 or email us at caninecorner at torrentca.gov. The Ultimate Dog Festival will be held right here at Columbia Park on June 13th. Let's meet the hosts and find out all about this event. The Ultimate Dog Festival is a combination of sports and wellness options for people to come out, have a day of fun with their families and their dogs. We're going to have a big sports field set up over here. We're going to have agility, small dog racing, disc dog, and fly ball. We're going to have a whole parking lot over here as a vendor market with a lot of fun products and services for people to try out with their dogs. There will also be wellness options for people to learn about, food trucks, an entertainment area, basically a whole day of fun. The festival is Saturday, June 13th. It's from 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. We do have an admission fee. It's $10 per adult. That's 13 and over. Kids under 13 are free. And a portion of the proceeds from our ticket sales will actually go to our nonprofit partner. That's Four Paws, Four Patriots. They train service dogs and provide them for free to disabled veterans across the country. We're doing this for the dogs and their families, so it's going to be a lot of fun and we really hope that everybody wants to come. Now if you missed the adoption segment at the beginning of our show or just want to see the adorable dogs again, here's your recap. Holly is a four and a half year old American Staffordshire Terrier mix. She is very friendly and gets along great with other dogs. She loves people and is a very playful dog. Zinni is a Pomeranian mix who's three years old. He has a lot of energy. He would do best in a home with adults and older children. Clive is a 13-month-old West Highland Terrier. He is a very sweet dog. He would do best in a home with children over 12. Gizmo is an eight-year-old rat terrier. He loves to cuddle and is an energetic dog. He loves to go on walks. He's looking for a family that would love to cuddle with him. Whiskey is a miniature pincher, German pincher mix. She's four years old. She loves to play and to go on walks. She's house trained and she's great with other dogs. She's also great with children. Dagwood is a four-year-old Corgi Dachshund mix. He loves to play with other dogs. He loves children. He has a lot of energy. Lulu is a nine-month-old Chihuahua. She's very playful and full of love. Whisper is an 18-month-old terrier. She loves to snuggle. She knows how to sit and stay. She's looking for her forever home. Spencer is a King Charles Spaniel. He's 10 years old. He loves cats. He loves to play with other dogs. Lucy is a two and a half year old miniature pincher beagle mix. She's a very sweet and playful dog. She gets along well with other dogs. If you're interested in adopting any of these dogs, please contact Marley's Pit Stop Rescue at pitstoprescue.com or give them a call at 310-995-1221. If you want even more Canine Corner, be sure to like our Facebook page, facebook.com forward slash Canine Corner TV, and follow me on Twitter at Canine Corner Rhiannon. That's all the time we have today. Thanks for joining us here on Canine Corner. I'm Rhiannon Tertanich, and we'll see you next time.